I'm Gary Carlton from the Intel Developer Products Division, and I work on the VTune Amplifier XE Software Performance Profiler. The goal of this tool is to allow programmers to be able to identify the location of performance hotspots in their program. It allows them to gather performance data and then drill down to the source code for the exact spot, the exact executable statement where performance bottlenecks are, and allow the programmer to make some changes to make the application run faster. Gary, you're presenting here at IDF on how to use these tools, in particular how to use these tools to do parallel development with different languages as opposed to just developing in a singular language. Can you tell us a little bit at a high level, what are some of the challenges that a developer looking to use parallelism encounters when they're using multiple languages versus using just one? Yeah, it's an interesting question because uh, in the real world, uh, you don't find a lot of applications that are just one language. In particular, if you're using Java or C Sharp or perhaps a, a scripting language, uh, you tend to have other languages involved, code written in C, C++, for example. And pretty much all the software tools out there really focus on one specific programming language. You have programming languages for Java, programming languages for C, C++. But the practical side of it is that many applications have more than one language. So one of the uh, features that we have in the VTune Amplifier XC Software Profiler is the ability to gather performance data for applications that are developed in multiple languages. There can be portions that are written in C, portions that are written in Java, and we're able to gather performance data uh, across boundary, pr programming language boundaries, uh, as an example. And again, allowing the drill down to source code for whichever language happens to have the performance bottleneck. What are some of the different kinds of performance bottlenecks you encounter when using a sort of heterogeneous language or multiple language environment compared to a singular language environment? Uh, I think mostly it's just trying to determine where the programming bottleneck is. Whether it's in one particular language or another is perhaps not so much the relevant issue as much as being able to find where it is independent of which part of the language it is. So we'll see that uh, you know, perhaps in C, C++, maybe there can be more loop-oriented types of performance bottlenecks. Other languages might have a little bit more uh, sort of branch-oriented uh, jumping all around kind of issues in terms of performance. So th to be honest, it's not so much, it's often not so much where the specific location is, but there can be behaviors involved in how the program operates that can cause it to slow down. Uh, for example, if there's a lot of jumping around in the program to different places, the processor has trouble keeping up or keeping ahead of the code that's going to come in and execute shortly with the type of pipeline processing that we have today, uh, the processor tries to uh, be ahead of execution in terms of reading in the code that's about to be executed and knowing uh, really what the right code path is to get a little bit ahead of execution and do some processing ahead of time. The parallelism that you described in your question is an added sort of vector to this problem as to uh, certainly where performance bottlenecks are, but whether there are interactions between different parallel parts of the program that are slowing things down. This is actually a relatively new feature that we added into the VTune amplifier, is uh, to augment this ability to find performance bottlenecks, but to also look at whether there are performance issues in how parallel threads are interacting with each other, whether one thread sits there waiting for another thread to produce results or to, to release a shared resource, causing that first thread to sit and wait and not get things done. So we've also found that as we moved into a more parallel world, we find that performance is being affected by interactions in addition to just uh, lots of computation occurring. Thank you, Gary. It's a great, it's a great level of detail. Um, can you tell us a little bit about sort of using VTune Amplifier XE and using that to identify uh, blockers and other issues in parallel development with, say, Python and C, C++? So we have a, a mode. Uh, this is a mode that, again, we just recently added into the VTune Amplifier XE 
that we call locks and weights. And what it does is a little bit different than I think most performance profilers. Rather than simply looking at where the CPU is blocked, the goal of this locks and weights collector is to simply watch for threads that are not doing anything. Essentially watch for threads that block. And not only to see that, but to also identify what the cause of the block is. So this locks and weights collector runs the program, watches threads block as they go, and then when the program finishes, it displays not just a list of which threads blocked, but it displays the number one cause of all threads blocking. So if there's one particular mutex or one particular critical section that's causing the most blocked time for threads, this locks and weights collector will, uh, will show that and will also, as we saw with the uh, performance bottleneck capability, allow you to drill down to source code for looking at the actual source for where the block uh, of the thread occurred. Thank you, Gary. Uh, I know here at, at IDF you are presenting on a number of topics, in particular using V2 and Amplifier XC for some of these multi-language development situations. I know in your presentation you talked a little bit, uh, or going to talk a little bit, about using V2 and Amplifier XC to help with parallel development, say, in a multi-language environment between C, C++, and Java. Could you give us a little bit of a taste of your presentation in terms of how that works with a, with a mixed C, C++, Java environment? Yeah, the, the main point uh, is that really it doesn't matter if part of the program is in C, C++, or Java. We'll be able to gather performance data, show you which part of the program is consuming the most time, or if there are bigger issues, for example, a lot of cache misses or a lot of uh, DTLB kinds of misses, we'll we're able to analyze the program as a whole and then drill down to the specific part of the program, be it Java or C, C++, as to where the performance bottleneck occurs. We feel it's very important to be able to gather performance data without sort of biasing uh, the data relative to which language it is. We only support this language or this other language. In particular with Java, the support has been made easier by some industry standards that allows debuggers or performance profilers to interact with the Java virtual machine and to get real-time information on operations done by the JIT compiler. So our VTune Amplifier XE makes use of these APIs to communicate directly with the JVM as the program is running to sort of help in the identifying of where performance bottlenecks are and give us an idea as to which methods and which source lines are the ones that contain the Java issues. So really, the, there's a little bit more that needs to be done to be able to gather Java performance information but it, it's still compatible with the technologies that we use to identify bottlenecks. And one other part I should mention that I haven't yet, and that is calling sequences. Oftentimes when there's a specific performance bottleneck, you want to know how you got there in terms of that particular program. So you'd like to be able to see which functions called what other functions to get to the final destination of where the performance bottleneck are, is. We can do that in Java also. If Java methods are calling other methods, to arrive at the performance bottleneck, we display that information and there's support for that. But more importantly, if along that function-to-function that -function calling sequence, if Java calls C, C++ and then calls Java and calls C++ again, we can follow that entire chain independent of which uh, programming language is involved in generating those functions. Uh, most other tools pretty much focus on one particular language, particularly when looking at calling sequences but we have the ability to decode that information. Thank you, Gary. And then so my last question for you is, is sort of taking that previous question and talking about using V2 Amplifier XC with a C, C++, and C Sharp development environment. What are the unique challenges and, and kind of opportunities that uh, V2 Amplifier XC brings to that particular mixed use case? The challenge we're trying to solve is still the same one, that we want users to be able to use one tool to do performance analysis on 
you know, C Sharp or Java or C or Fortran or COBOL. I've even seen customers using VTune to do tuning on COBOL programs. But the unique feature that we offer is the ability to do performance uh, measuring in mixed programming language environments, as we just discussed. So I mentioned a little bit about the technology we use in Java, where we're communicating directly with the Java Virtual Machine using industry standard debugger APIs. Uh, it turns out that in the uh, .NET, in particular C Sharp environment, there are similar APIs that allow those of us that have performance tools to be able to make connections into the runtime system of .NET and to get the same kind of information I mentioned in Java in terms of when the C Sharp JIT compiler emits some executable code at runtime, VTune is told about that when that JIT operation completes and we know where all the C Sharp code, the JIT emitted C Sharp code is located and we know the method name, class name, line numbers, source file uh, identification, all that information is there which is really what enables us to be able to again in the C Sharp environment to gather performance data relative to calling sequences, method to method calling sequences. If C Sharp is calling C, C++ is calling C Sharp, we're able to show those calling sequences even as language boundaries are crossed uh, during the calling process. All right, Gary. Um, those are sort of the initial questions I had for you. I guess my final uh, question for you is developers looking at beginning to learn parallel software development, um, what might they look for in V2 and Amplifier XE? What are some features that you might want to highlight that are going to help them get into these more complicated use case scenarios that you've been talking through? I think uh, for the first time user, uh, it's important to just get a feel for how the GUI works and how configuration happens. So what I always recommend is that users first just do a general hotspot collection mode. Just run the application, tell VTune in either the GUI or the command line version on Linux or Windows. Uh, just tell it to gather normal performance hotspots and then look at the data, look at the results, see where the performance bottlenecks are in your program. At that point, if you want, you can get more sophisticated with the VTune Amplifier XE and starting, start looking for more detailed causes for why those portions of the program are in fact bottlenecks. You can start looking at cache misses, start looking at branch mispredictions, basically things inside the processor that will affect the performance of your program. Along those lines, uh, over the last three or four years, we've tried to make it as easy as possible to gather these types of CPU performance metrics. Uh, what we've done to, to try to help the programmer is developed a mode of performance data gathering that we call general exploration. This mode will make the decision for the programmer as to which performance metrics should be gathered based on what type of processor you're running on, gather this performance data, typically 10 or 20 different kinds of performance metrics are gathered relative to the CPU hardware. And then in the results screen, VTune will highlight which one of these performance penalties were the ones that appear to be problems that need to be focused on by the programmer. So you will see a spreadsheet or a two-dimensional array with this general exploration result set of data and you'll see which methods, which functions are the ones that consume the most CPU time and which types of performance penalties are the ones that look to be slowing the program down and require more attention from the programmer. And again, as we've discussed in this, in this uh, little video, the, the problem can be in C, C Sharp, Java, whatever language we support, and in programs that use all of those different languages. Uh, the general exploration mode will show you specifically which methods have performance issues and what type of performance issues are the ones that seem to be most significant.